Um, my name is Emma, I'm 26, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer at 24, just three weeks after my mum passed away from the same disease. I first noticed something was wrong when I was, I was just having a bath. <laughs> just having a bath and I felt a lump. I knew some of the signs of breast cancer before, but it was, it was really bad timing. Um, my mum was bed bound downstairs, um, so I, I couldn't speak to her about it. So I kept it to myself. We went on her, my mum's last holiday. And then when we got back, it was all the signs were still there. So I snuck off to the GPs for an emergency appointment. Between that time and my diagnosis, my mum passed away. I'd actually forgot that I'd found these signs in the meantime. She, she was my focus and the ultrasound technician found what I was feeling on the inside. And they said, we're gonna to need to do a biopsy. Uh, I burst into tears. I told, told the family. And a week after the funeral, my aunts and I went to the hospital, got called into the room. We all sat down and the surgeon said to me, I'm really sorry, it's cancer. But I didn't feel anything. I, ju I just lost my mum. And losing her, I, I lost everything. So being told I had cancer, it, it didn't compare at the time. Before chemo started, I had to, I had to have an operation where they removed some of the lymph nodes under my arm on my affected side. When we first started talking about treatments, um, they said to me about surgery and asked me if I had any idea what I wanted. I straight away said I wanted a bilateral mastectomy. I came across Sophie Mayan's um, project behind the scars. I, w I was looking through the different photographs that Sophie had taken and reading the stories and they, they really empowered me. It empowered me to think it, it doesn't matter, I, I have to make this decision and I can make this decision. Sophie taught me that there is power in scars. My team had really prepared me well for surgery. I knew what to expect, I knew what was going to happen. Because of this surgery, I wasn't going to have cancer anymore, that I was gonna have no evidence of disease. So I felt, I felt prepared, I felt ready. When, when I came round in recovery, the first thing I did was to look down um, and under my shirt. My team came over and I just smiled and said like, did you get it? And I said, yeah, we, we think we got it. It's been a year since I had my double mastectomy, a year since finding out that I didn't, I had no evidence of disease. And I am moving forward with my life. I still, I still have to have some preventative treatments. My story would have been a lot different if I didn't know about the signs of breast cancer, if I wasn't aware of my body, if I wasn't aware of my breasts. And if, especially to women, women my age, in their 20s and their 30s, I would tell them, please, please start checking. Start checking now. I'm a different person to who I was before cancer, but I like myself a lot more now. Me and my mum my and I always had this phrase we'd say to each other to give us hope. And I really honestly do believe it now. I've realised what it means everything. And that is that tomorrow will be kinder.